Hello to the amazing person who clicked on this video. This is going to be a simple Professor Evil tutorial for how to beat Professor Evil again in BT Battles. And yeah, you guys got this. This is a easy challenge if you know what you're doing and if you know how to beat it. Um, so yeah, just it might take a few tries to get the Mortar Micro down, but you guys should be fine. So we're going to start off by getting a Mortar Monkey guy up by the end of this end bend here. And we're going to aim it down in this bottom part of the track. This is the widest area for the Mortar to hit. And along with this, if we get a Bloom Chipper around there, the Mortar is going to hit while the Bloons are in the Bloom Chipper, which is really good. Um, and yeah, we're just going to be ecoing all throughout round two here. So yeah, we're going to have our Mortar down to the zero one one Mortar and with the fast Faster reload, then we're going to be egoing here. And if you leak a couple of lives early game, that's okay. That's gonna happen. What's important isn't to not leak a single life. What's important is just to greed for our eco, because we need to be able to get up a big one, and we need to get up a super wide funnel by round 18, when they're going to send us this massive BFB and empowered Moab rush. So yeah. We're going to be going for another balloon chippery do right here, and we're going to set this balloon chipper on strong, and we're going to get this up by the beginning of round four to defend against these pinks that they're going to send us here. And we'll be A-OK -okay to this. It's just going to take a little bit of balloon chipper reaction. I don't know. We might leak a few lives. As I said, that's OK. Don't worry about it. And yeah, we're just going to keep ecoing here. Um... Yeah, we're going to use our first Super Eco Boost on round 5. And the times we want to use this are rounds 5, 7, and 10. These are all before longer rounds compared to the other rounds around them. And if we use one of them early, it will allow us to Eco earlier on more so, right? So if we use an Eco Boost on round 5, we'll be able to Eco with more greens on round 6, right? So it's like an exponential thing. And yeah, we're just getting up our Eco here. We're going towards... 500 eco eventually we're gonna go towards 700 eco and yeah we're, they're gonna use a copy eco don't worry about this this is a red herring this does nothing whether they copy a high eco or a low eco they're gonna send the same rushes regardless and we're gonna use our second super eco boost here on round seven so yeah we have up our balloon chipper on strong and to defend against these blacks all we're gonna do is get up our mortar, mortar burny stuff right here and the burny stuff of the mortar is gonna apply to all these balloons at the bottom and yeah, it's it's going to be a good power. It's going to be good. And we're chilling to this. Look at that. Look at that. We, we leaked a little bit of lives, but that's okay. And look at Professor Evil's lives. 1,000 lives to start with. Why can't we have that? Why? This is such a bro... Okay. Um, but yeah, we're going for a 2-2 two, two little chippery do here. And yeah, the 2-2 two, two chipper on strong is going to help us defend these region whites. We're also going to place one monkey acid down. And we're going to leak down. As long as you don't go bef below 100 lives, you should be fine. If you do go below 100 lives, not the worst situation in the world. And yeah, we're just going to be sending these yellows here, going towards 700 eco on round 9. We're going to use our last super eco boost, and that's going to take us above 700 eco, but we're going to use our last super eco boost on round 10 here, and it's going to take us to 770 eco, our final eco number of the game. Then we're going to get up our uh, village to make everything cheaper, and we're going to go for our big balloon buster, otherwise known as the bluster. And yeah, we're also going to place down all our monkey acids at the back of the map here to help clean up against whatever junkie sends us so we're chilling this we also don't use every single damage boost in this tutorial so if you find yourself really struggling to the early game before this you can try popping down a damage boost on round eight or something like that um and we're gonna be going for this camo detection on our village so we're gonna slowly get there we're not gonna be able to get it up by round 12 for that green but it's because he's gonna be adjusting us on round 17 when he offensive pushes us with these cobras here he's gonna also be getting up this adjustment and that's what our camo is for then we're gonna slowly start going for our super wide funnel so we're gonna get the dual layer blades on this boon chipper and then we're gonna go for the super wide funnel on this boon chipper they're gonna send us this regen lead rush all we're gonna do is damage boost to this rush our mortar still aimed at the bottom the monkey acids will clean up anything that goes by and we're chilling to this this looks bad but it isn't as bad as it looks right um yeah so we're, we're okay to that and then we're gonna eventually go for this super wide funnel here and yeah nope in like one eco beast we'll get it so at 36 seconds we got our super wide funnel and the super wide funnel is really good against bfbs and moabs what's he gonna send us bfbs and moabs and then we're gonna be going for our big one because it's gonna be good against ceramics and what's the super wide funnel's weakness ceramics right so yeah we have up our money we're just saving up for our big one here and we're not gonna be able to afford our big one by the time he rushes us so what we're gonna do is we're gonna sell our village buy the big one 
then end up rebuying our village. So that, that might seem confusing, but we're going to sell our village. We also don't want to damage boost too early here. So we're only going to damage boost once these top Moabs kind of reach the end of the track and he uses his empowered Moab. So we're going to sell the village, get up a big one, aim it straight jam in the middle, like right there. And then we're going to be going for another village and slowly upgrading it towards the jungle drums because that's going to be really, really good. And that's going to allow us to attack faster. And once we have our jungle drums, we're just microing our mortar down the track so that it's right ahead of the blooms here, right? That's where we want it to be. Eventually, it's going to stay in this bottom circle, and we're going to defend this rush. This did take me a few tries to get down. It may feel a little bit RNG-based. Just uh, try a few times, and you will get this 100%. It may take a few attempts, though. And there we go. We're chilling to this. Look at that. Easy defense. So now we're going to start spamming our bloom chippers for the most important part of this tutorial the memes and yeah we're just going to be getting down a ton of bloom chippers here i don't know it's for the fun of it and they look cool and they're they're good right they're good towers and look at him he is just flexing his tack micro at the end wow good good tack micro on professor evil we could obviously do better of course totally 100 percent and yeah now we have up our uh little bloom chippers and we might send him some camo regen reds as well we're damage boosting for the fun of it we're sending him some camo reds regen reds these reds are op he gets so scared of these reds he's eventually going to surrender and look at this wow what a good game this is a fun game i don't know i don't know professor evil they're they're just fun challenges too and i really enjoy them and sometimes they're easier sometimes they're harder this one was a bit harder but they're always doable in some way shape or form after some amount of attempts and then we beat them and that's good and there we go 1000 medallions peace out everyone have an awesome rest of your day i'll see you guys next time